Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics. We are going to show you how to start plants indoors, the tomato plants. We want to have some good potting soil, and I like the happy frog because it's got some bat guano in it, it's got some mycorrhiza in it, and some humate in it. So we just want to fill up some, some peat pots or whatever pot you've got, and you want to start with a new one or a clean one. And then we're going to take two seeds for each pot. I like to do two just in case one doesn't come up. Once, once you get two of them that come up, you can cut, the other, cut one of them off so you have only one in the pot, just at the base of the stem. No more than a quarter of an inch of soil to be covered over the top of these. Once we've done that, we want to water them in really well. You've got to have moisture to germinate. You want to keep these moist but not soggy. You're going to want to put these in a sunny location so you can put it in a window that gets a lot of light or you can use a grow light. Then I like to put a plastic bag over that for growing inside. Keeps the humidity level up and you don't have to water as often this way too. So just tuck it underneath. Stick it where it's going to go. It's going to create moisture in there. And check this every day. Once they get up to where they've, they've sprouted and they're, you've got the two cotyledon leaves up, then you'll want to remove this plastic and not put it on anymore at this point. You'll want to keep them watered well. And once your temperatures are warm enough outside and they've got some good height to them, four or five inches at least, then you can transplant these outside. When you're using the peat pots, they're biodegradable, so you just want to scratch them up just a little bit and they'll uh, just stick them right in the ground like this and they'll biodegrade and it'll grow pretty easy transplant. That's all there is to starting tomato plants inside.